Hey guys, so today is going to be a video on my review of the Ecotrician Le Petit Croissant. First, I'll start off with the packaging of it. Here is the front of it. This is just the bag. I keep the little treats in this little box, but I saved the bag. So on the front it says Ecotrician Le Petit Croissant, a fun and delicious treat. It's got a rabbit, guinea pig, and a hamster right here. I got this treat at PetSmart on sale for $2.69 with my Pet Perks card, but the original price is $2.99. I think they have the same treat except the Wild Harvest kind, but it is the exact same thing as Ecotrician, and I think you can purchase those from Walmart. Here it just says 8 in 1, and it is 2 ounces or 56 it grams. It is a resealable pouch as it says up here, but I just prefer to keep it inside the little box right now there. Here is the back of it. It says Ecotrician Le Petit Croissant, a fun and delicious treat. Again, it's got that little rabbit down here and a guinea pig. Best Buy 515 through 2013, so it does last a while, which means that it does have quite a bit of preservatives. In this little description that it says right here, introducing Le Petit Croissant, the great tasting and nutritious treat for all small animals. Le Petit Croissant has an easy to grab shape and crunchy texture that promotes small animals' natural chewing instincts, and the irresistible taste is sure to make your pet's favorite great tasting at any time. And so in this box, I have little treats, and I'll show you guys what they look like. They are just these little cute croissants, and it is about the size of half of my index finger. And it is really easy to take little pieces of it off, like I'm doing. And I usually like to do that and feed my hamsters a treat like that, rather than just giving them a whole treat. So now we'll get on to the guaranteed analysis. The crude protein, the minimum is 11%. Crude fat, minimum is 6%. Crude fiber, the maximum is 1%, and the moisture, the maximum is 10%. Did come with one of those little bags that they put in to take all the moisture out of the treat, but I threw that the directions away. directions say to feed one to two treats per day, and here are the ingredients. The first three ingredients are wheat flour, dried milk, and sugar. Since sugar is the third ingredient, it is pretty... Th so it does have 11% protein. That is an okay amount of protein. It has 6% of crude fat, and that's actually pretty good compared to most treats because most treats, I think, have 8% fat, and I know that yogis have 21% fat, which is a lot, a lot of fat, but it still is quite a bit of fat. And so I would not recommend feeding this treat one to two treats a day like it says on the These package. These treats do have on the high side of fattiness, and they are pretty big. Especially for dwarves, I would not, definitely do not feed them even once every day. I recommend feeding this treat maybe about once a and week. For Syrians, you could probably get away with feeding this treat once every six since days. Since dwarves do, can be prone to diabetes, you want to make sure that you don't feed this treat very often. Yeah. Hamsters review on it and how they and liked L'Oreal, it. L'Oreal, my two robos, seem to enjoy this treat. I gave them each a little piece about this big when I first got them and they nibbled on a little bit and then they slowly started to eat more and more of it. I left it in their cage and the next day it if was they were gone. given a choice of maybe eating like the KT papaya treats or a yogi they would choose that over these so they don't like these too much. But I also gave Shubby a little piece of the treat about this big and when I first gave it to her she did not take it out of my hands and did not eat it so I left it in her bowl overnight and overnight she did end up eating it so it's not her favorite winter treat. Winter White as you guys probably know is a picky eater and she does not like to eat very many things. I would probably rate this treat three and a half to four stars since my hamsters did not like it right away but they did end up eating it and they did seem to enjoy it. This treat is definitely not my hamster's favorite treat, but they did seem to enjoy it. So if you have a hamster that is not picky at all, I would definitely recommend this treat, but if your hamster is picky, you might want to think about it a little bit. Hey guys, that is it for my review on the Ecotrician Le Petit Croissant. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!